Hi, welcome back. On the last video, we were we had a lot of fun, right? We we validated some of this inf this information coming from the form down here, and we cut it here, finding out that the form was submitted. We made an array. We put some values in there. We tested against that using a function called in array to see if the username was present there. And if it wasn't present, we display a message saying, you know, sorry, you're not allowed. If it was, we welcome the user or whoever was there, right, to our little application. We also tested uh, the value, the characters, the amount of characters the username had or that, va that field had on the form. And if it was lower than five, we display a message. And it was, if it was bigger than five, we display a message here with this str length function here, which counted the username characters, which counted the, the characters of this field right here, right? Whatever we type in here, this function was able to catch those values in there, and we tested against that, all right? So on this video here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending this information somewhere else because this information is kind of messy right here, right here, right, on the same page. So usually I told you that we have another page to do this. Uh, we make another page, and we validate all our form data. And then we can reuse that um, page, you know, throughout our application, right? So what I want to do is I want to do a save as because I really don't want to touch this form.php here. I want to leave this for you. So I'm going to do a save as and call this form external. Save. Now we have a different form that we can play around with it, right? Now you have a form over there in your courses exercise files that you can refer to the single page validation. This one is going to be an external because what, what I want to do is I want to send all this data to another form and the form to another page. The page is going to be called form process. All right, and we're going to make it right now. So let's go ahead and open our blank.php. Let's do a save as and let's make this, uh, what, what was it? Form process. There we go that PHP and I'm gonna take all this HTML out of there because it's not gonna take HTML by the way we could put HTML but it's not going to do that so what we need to do first is we need to go in the browser to this form I think my editor already took me there there we go and it took me to form process all right so if you're not there for some reason make sure that you go to your browser and type it in all right so when I type, uh, type in some data here, it's going to get sent to the form underscore process, and it's going to process it, right? It's going to give us some information. So this is an external validation form. So I'm going to say, my name is Edwin, and this is the password. I'm going to click Submit, and look at the browser. Look at the address bar right here, what it's going to do. Submit, and as you can see, it changed to form process here. All right, it didn't display anything because some reason is not displaying but but know that it did change it did go there to form process the, the reason why it's not displaying because we don't have any of this data there so it's still too soon to do that so let's go ahead and copy all this stuff here let's take it out from this form external let's save it and then let's put it in that form underscore process right here because it doesn't have anything let's do that all right there we go now it's doing something right let's just take that off and by I put my mouse key, uh, cursor here and just click enter to empty it out let's actually go back here let's do enter again there and this is empty all right so let's type in the name Edwin and here and click submit and it's gonna take me to form underscore process and it's gonna say sorry you're not allowed so you see that we were here in the form underscore external and when I click submit it so it sent me to the other page to process that information so I'm just gonna click some really long name there and submit and it says user it cannot be longer than 10 sorry you're not allowed it's processing the data right here so this is how you send the data to another form and validate it alright so hopefully you were able to to learn how to do this and if not, just go rewind the video, look at it again. If you still have any questions, call me. Well, not call me, but go ahead and email me, message me, make a discussion, and we can uh, resolve your not understanding this. But very simple. So 
Uh, hopefully this information was able to give you an open mind about how data is actually sent to other pages and how we can catch it over there and do all the things with it, right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.